So one of the problems I have with my case valve is um, draining of the battery. It's really annoying. So if I don't use my car for a few days, I will do this and then that battery. It's just pretty annoying on this uh, case swap MR2 and I had it since the start. So I have to do that. And here in the back of my car, if you look really closely, you can see one terminal. Um, it's over there where the white and the red cable is. So I need to put the jumper cable in there and then anywhere on the chassis to start the car. That should be good enough. Cables connected. Let's see if it does anything. So turn the key, wait a few seconds. Almost. And there we go. It's pretty hard to see, but the battery voltage is okay. Temperatures is getting there, so um, I'm going for a drive, see if everything's good. And then later, I'm going to increase my idle air control, which is something for in the end of the video, really. survived at home. It was raining a tiny bit, only a few spits though. Um, anyway, I'm home and the car is back in its spot. Um, no issues really, just everything works the way it should be. It's a bit wetly, but you know, that's the charm of the car I guess. Uh, anyway, that was just a little vlog for today. Let me know, and maybe in the comments, what you think about these lights. I'm still not finished, uh, but I hope to finish in the next, I don't know, whenever it's finished. So let me know what you think about the lights, the position of the lights, even leave a comment um, what you think I should change. Don't comment to refurbish the lights because I'm going to do it anyway. So just let me know what you think about the lights in general, the idea behind it, etc, etc. Before I finish this video, um, just quickly how I do the idle air adjustment. So I'm taking this one off, take the whole pipe off and then there is an 8mm at the back of the Tegra for the body. I was even able to move my air filter a little bit more to this side so that sits stable as much as possible to this side and I'm just going to start the car and see if the idle is not too high. So the engine is still a bit low so I might increase it a tiny bit more. After a few minutes of messing about here I was able to get the filter even more to here. I raised the idle as I showed to about 950 RPM when it's 65 degrees. So that's not that's fine with me. Um, and hopefully the filter gets more cool air from here. Um, but that's I'm going to try go for a run, see if it's any better. <laughs> 